We thought Christmas was going to be normal, whatever normal happens to be, because the year seems to have started to sort itself out. It's been wonderful having Sunday worship again in both churches and on Zoom. Wonderful doing Sunday even songs. We've had gorgeous congregations on Wednesday morning. Wonderful weddings, 26 baptisms. Yes, life is normal. But now somehow it doesn't seem to be. We've done the nativities. We had a church full of St Edmunds with the toddler group and the preschool. We were at Walter Evans School last night with children and donkeys. But now we've taken the decision that the crib services on Christmas Eve are probably not a good idea. And I'm sure the congregations that we will have at midnight and Christmas morning are probably going to be less than they would have done, which is why we're now doing a Zoom service on Boxing Day as well, for those of you who don't feel safe coming to church. And we'll, of course, keep that going into the new year. And there's part of me that just wants to go and dig a hole and hide, because I've had enough of it. I've had enough of everything changing and planning for this and planning for that and everything going mad. But somehow, you know, it all does seem to work. One of the things I found this year is this wonderful storybook, Granny Goes to Bethlehem. I also smile that it's published by Oxford University Press. As a Cambridge man, I think quite a lot of the scholarship of Oxford University. But it's a gorgeous book about Mary's mum and dad who turn up at the Bethlehem and sort everything out. And when we read the Christmas story, we read it and we know what happens. We know that the innkeeper will say, come in, there's space round the back. We know the shepherds will come down from the hillsides. We know the kings will come with gold, frankincense and myrrh. But of course, the first Christmas, nobody knew what was going to happen. They just had to trust that God is in charge. Well, that's what we're having to do this Christmas, as indeed we do every Christmas. And we know God is with us this Christmas and into 2022. So from all of us in both churches, St Edmunds and St Matthews, a very happy Christmas to you all and do your best to keep smiling. So we'll light an Advent wreath together in our minds, if nothing else. At that time, the Emperor Augustus ordered the census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. When this first census took place, Quirinius was the governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself, each to his own town. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in strips of cloth, and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them in the inn. There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields, taking care of their flocks. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone about them. They were terribly afraid, but an angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I am here with good news for you, which will become a great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town, your Saviour was born, Christ the Lord, and this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby 
wrapped in strips of cloth and lined in a manger. Suddenly, a great army of heaven's angels appeared with the angel, singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in a manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told him what the angel had said about the child. All who heard were amazed at what the shepherds said. Mary remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. The shepherds went back, singing praises to God for all they had heard and seen. It had been just as the angel had told them.